Hello and welcome to CBS Institute. Welcome to Current Affairs Quiz. Let's get started with the first question. Dust leak is a military exercise between India and which of the following countries is the question here. See, recently dust leak has come into news because dust leak is a military exercise, joint military exercise between India and the country Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan. So recently dust leak 2, dust leak 2, which means second edition of this military exercise that is dust leak between India and the country Uzbekistan is being held from 10th to 19th March. 10th to 19th March 2021. See this exercise, the joint military exercise is being held at Chaubatia, Chaubatia, which is near Rani Kate, Rani Kate, which is in Uttarakhand, which is in Uttarakhand. So this point is important. So there could be a question, Dust Leak 2, that is, that is second edition of Dust Leak military exercise was held in which of the following states by giving five options, it could be a question in our exam. So this is Uttarakhand. So Chaubatia, Rani Kate near Uttarakhand. Date is also important from 10th to 19th March 2021. So Dust Leak, this is the second edition of the exercise, that is military exercise. See. Here, Dust Leak is a military exercise between India and which of the following country? So, option C is the correct answer, that is Uzbekistan. So, Uzbekistan, capital city is Tashkent. This is the capital city, also important, Tashkent. And Uzbekistan SOM, S-O-M, this is the currency of the country. Uzbekistan. So here answer is option C is the correct answer. Next question. Which of the following countries has recently conducted an exercise called Aster X to analyze its ability against attacks on its satellites? See, in the technology world, the power of satellites is also being increased and equally important is that other countries may attack the satellites of one country in order to defend, in order to protect its satellites from attacks from foreign countries. Recently, the country France, the country France has conducted a space exercise that is military exercise in the space that is codenamed Aster X. Aster X. So it was held from 8th to 12th March, 8th to 12th March. So this is to protect its satellites from attacks from other countries. So this is here against foreign attacks. So here option D is the correct answer that is France. So France capital city is Paris and Euro is the currency. So this is France. Option D is the correct answer. Next question, International Olympic Committee is headquartered at which of the following places? See, International Olympic Committee, which is responsible for conducting Olympic Games, is located at Lausanne City, Lausanne City, which is in Switzerland, which is in Switzerland. So, this question has been asked here because recently, the president of International Olympic Committee, Thomas Bach, has been re-elected as the president of International Olympic Committee for another four years. See, he has already been working as the president of International Olympic Committee and he has been re-elected, has been re-elected for another four-year term. See, his current term will be over on 8th August, 8th August 2021 and his next term that is this term will start from 9th August 2021, 2021 and it will be up to the year 2025. 
okay so another four year term so thomas bach is from germany this is also important additionally okay so here international olympic committee is headquartered at which of the following places option b is the correct answer lausanne switzerland see he has been re elected at the 137th 137th international olympic committee session which was held in athens in athens which is in greece okay so option b is the correct answer next question cisf rising day is observed on c c i f i s f stands for central industrial security force central industrial security force one of the paramilitary forces which work under ministry of home affairs ministry of home affairs also a point which is considered to be important from examination point of view see cisf central industrial security force is responsible for protecting strategic companies strategic government sector companies for example okay for example airports railways others okay so cisf central industrial security force for example ntpc national tower thermal power corporation so which is protected by cisf force for example airports okay all these so nuclear power plants all these are protected by cisf so this paramilitary force provides security for all these see cisf one of the paramilitary forces in india was established on 10th march on 10th march in the year 1969 under cisf act cisf act 1968 so march 10th is observed as establishment day that is rising day of cisf so here option e is the correct answer cisf day is 10th march every year so the year 2021 the year 2021 becomes 52nd rising day 52nd rising day of cisf that is central industrial security force next question hamid bakayoko has passed away recently he was the prime minister of he is the sitting prime minister actually okay he was the prime minister of the country ivory coast ivory coast so he also he is also holding defense ministry portfolio so suddenly due to cancer he died and he passed away so hamid bakayoko is the prime minister or was the prime minister of which of the following countries is the question here option a is the correct answer that is ivory coast see and additional point here is that after the passing away of hamid bakayoko another person patrick patrick archie has been appointed as the interim prime minister of the country ivory coast interim here means temporary next question which of the following banks has recently launched wearable contactless payment devices under the program called wear and pay see recently the private sector lender axis bank has launched wearable contactless payment devices under this program that is wear and pay for example you can wear a band a band or kechai to your hand and whenever you visit any shop you can wave this band against the device pos or mobile okay automatically payment will be done if pin number is entered here so this is just waving device okay so you can just wave near the device that is point of sale so axis bank has launched wearable contactless payment devices under its program that is wear n pay that is wear and pay so this is also very important term which bank has launched it so this is axis bank option c is the correct answer 
see here daily limit is 1 lakh rupees daily limit and you can pay you can pay up to 1 lakh rupees by using these devices so here annual fee will be collected from the users that is device cost is 7 750 rupees and annual charges are 500 rupees these are not at all important from examination point of view okay wear and pay this is important and axis bank is the answer that is option c